In this video we're going to talk about marks. So you can see you've got mark, you can remove mark, you can fill above to mark and you can start from mark. These all work together uh, to allow us to basically uh, create very detailed process steps at particular points in the process. Uh, the best way to show you this is perhaps to bring up a, um, an Excel sheet. So here we have an example of one man running two machines. Uh, he's going to get the part from machine one, load it. They're going to do a machine cycle, unload the part. Meantime, he's getting the part from machine two, loading it. Machine two cycle, unload the part. Very basic. So let's say our times are in seconds here. And then we click on the send the balance. Give it a couple of seconds. And that information is now in here. Now it all comes in as one uh, process here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold this task. So, but before I'm going to do that, I'm going to actually add a couple of tasks here. So I'm going to uh, add multiple tasks, and we'll add three tasks uh, before the current task, and I'll just call it machines. Machine, click on the OK, and it made space for it. Here's machine one, machine two, and this is going to be our operators. So I'm going to rename this task here. This is going to be the edit task, and I'm going to say it's operator. on that. So now we, get, we may want to put the operator first. I like to do that myself. So move the oper operator over here. Then we're going to come over here and say we're going to uh, hold the task. So now we have everything here ready to go and start to show you how to use the mark. So what I'm going to do is the operator first, he gets the part from machine A, machine 1. He's going to load the part to machine 1. And then what we're going to do is create a mark here. We put a mark across here, and then the machine one cycle time, we just hold it above here, and it's going to drop it in there automatically. Meantime, he's getting the part from machine two, and you notice then it moves the mark. He's loading the part to machine two here, and then he's going to do the machine cycle time for machine two. Notice the mark has moved up here, and we automatically get a filler in here. Actually, I want to put this one over here, up here. I'll say start from. Mark that gives me the right uh, format I'm looking for here. And meantime, then he can go back and unload the part from machine one, and then he's going to load up again. So he gets the part, and he loads the part. I'm just dragging them over, and you can see the mark moving here. Now what's happening is the, the word cycle is like a keyword, if you like, right? So when I do that, and I go to machine cycle time, machine one, I hold it up here, drop it there, it creates the filler here, and then he can finally go and unload machine two and then reload the part from machine 2. Right. So you can see how the mark is moving here. Now if I happen to take the machine 2 cycle time and put it below here, which is what I did a minute ago, I can hit the right mouse button and tell it to start from the mark and that will push it up so that it starts from that particular mark here. Right. And we can repeat doing this. So now he's loaded that part to machine 2. Machine 2 runs, he goes back, he can unload machine 1. And then he goes back in here and he's going to get the part. And he's going to load the part again here. And then there's going to be another machine cycle time. Again, I'll hold it above here. And that shows you how it automatically recognizes this as being a cycle time. The key, the key thing is to use the word cycle. It makes it do this. And then he unloads the part from machine 2. Uh, get the part from machine 2. And then load the part machine 2 and then we're going to have the cycle time over here again hold it above it here and what's happening here if we hold the uh, you'll see now what happens is if I start hovering over these guys here it will start to tell me information the cycle time is 21.1 seconds same over here so we're going to get a part off of each machine every 21.1 seconds and this is how you can identify how much process you need here. But more importantly, it's also showing you the mark capability here. I can also hit the right right button, and I can say fill above to mark, which just puts a filler in there. Right? So I could really do anything uh, here in terms of filling it and organizing my data. And it's all working off this movable mark that is being created here.